Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Just wanted to show you the Amiga game selector. It's a pretty awesome, uh, I guess, uh, program to uh, add to your uh, A500 Mini. Um, so last time when I did the review for the A500 Mini, I just did the, the stock um, games. I didn't show you how you added some, some new games. But uh, Amiga Game Selector is the best way, I think, uh, to add uh, extra games. Once you put it, install it on your USB drive, you're going to see a little icon here in your carousel. You just select that and then go to uh, Start AGS. Now you can go Start AGS Pandora, and uh, if you do that, it will bring you up into um, where you get to see uh, workbench and stuff like that. I don't want to go that detailed, so I'm just going to start it here. Uh, this is the newest version, I believe, uh, March of 2024. Um, all credit goes to Paul Vince, the creator. I'll put a download uh, link in the uh, uh, description, but this is 2.5.1 version. And here we go. So you can use your uh, controller to uh, use the menu here. And as you can see, all the games are sorted uh, by year, by theme, by system, publisher, uh, by letter. Uh, there's some extra emulators in here. There's the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, MSX, MSX2, SCUM, uh, VM, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, and ZX Spectrum. And when you go into those, you can see there's a bunch of extra games, all with screenshots, everything. It's pretty cool. But I'm not here to show you uh, these games. Um, I have uh, other ways to play those, so I'll go back to the the game selector. Uh, this is very customizable. You can go into themes. Uh, you can change the look of it to like a workbench. You know, the computers and change it to look, you know, a theme under the, for the Amiga 500 or if you like the Amiga 2000. Uh, there's also um, ones on particular games. So pretty cool. A lot of work done in this. First thing when you uh, load this up, uh, like when you first start, uh, download it and start it for the first time, you want to go into the options and then go into WHD load options and you want to set up your uh, quit key. I have that set for uh, on the on-screen keyboard for F9, and that'll allow you to uh, escape uh, the, the WHD load games. Cool thing about WHD load is uh, you don't have to change uh, discs, stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. You can search. Uh, there's a cool feature here, pick a random game or demo, so you get to try some games you didn't try. I'll show you uh, a few games here. So it's just as easy as um, you know, going to uh, the option and as you can see like lots and lots of games. I'll just kind of scroll through these. That's just B. Amazing. So one of my favorite games uh, back in the day was uh, Battle Squadron. Chess 2, so. try a battle squadron in US, so you just select it, and if you look at my uh, console, I have uh, it, um, uh, there you can actually 
change to NTC or PAL and have the Nova missiles uh, for buttons instead of, you know, uh, putting your, uh, moving your joystick around in a circle as the original did. Uh, but what I was saying, the green light I have uh, in the settings to mimic uh, the Amiga hard drive behavior, so when it's loading, the green light will turn on, which is very nostalgic to see that. There we go, Battle Squadron. I've beaten this game in the, back in the day. Uh, it was pretty uh, fun. I don't have the Twitch skills in playing this on the gamepad, which the gamepad is excellent, but certain games you need a joystick. You know, so I'll have to hook up the Commodore 64 joystick to this eventually. So I want to quit, I just hit uh, the on-screen keyboard, go to F9, and it quits me out of it, back into the main menu, and I'm uh, good to select another game. Another good uh, shooter game, I remember uh, loving this because of the music, Blood Money. And again, you can see where you can skip the intro. So you also like that for skipping the intro. You could have unlimited lives, unlimited energy. Again, tired of that. I can just go F9. Actually, I'm just going to load that up again. And this time, oops. This time I'm going to let you see the intro because it is pretty, uh, pretty good back in the day. So you notice I didn't select skip intro this time. To the uh... first there was madness now psychosis presents a dna design game figure it out here is you know how to quickly go back in the menu I always have to scroll all the way up and then uh, dot dot um, so yeah here's a lot more games here There's so many pinball games for uh, Amiga. Pirates, Pirates Gold. Actually, I'm going to go to uh, a classic here uh, on, under D. Defender of the 
crown. Cinemaware was a classic back in the day. Pretty cool. Uh, I actually prefer the Commodore 64 version of this game over the Amiga one, but the Amiga one did have good visuals. But, you, you know, again, all your uh, the classics that you remember. Sierra, uh, Sierra games like uh, Legion Suit Larry and uh, Space Quest, Police Quest, all those are on there. Mean Air Mansion. tried all these of course uh, so I don't know if this is gonna work but we'll see most games have worked that I've tried but yeah an easy way instead of downloading each one separately uh, to get this and then you have a, a great UI and everything I'm gonna hit the, the key, keyboard there. You might notice that it's not formatted on my screen very well. That's just because um, the way I have it hooked up to this TV. crack maybe and because this is off screen I don't know where the enter button is there you go Let's see if it's uh, cracked already Yeah, it's already cracked, so it's not that. There we go. Monkey Island 2. It is, it is Monkey Island 1 on here. I, I saw that, but for some reason I didn't see it here on the list. I don't know what I'm missing. Maybe it was somewhere else.
and then lots of ways to kind of uh, sort out your games. You can do it by theme, you know, if you like adventure games, click on that. Oh yeah, Secret of Monkey Island, there you go. point-and-click adventure. I like a lot of these, uh, the Indiana Jones ones, the Monkey Island, of course. Yeah. Nice, great uh, soundtrack, too. So I'll have a link in the um, uh, description uh, on how to download this and if you have any questions uh, regarding it uh, you know let me know I'm gonna try uh, they don't have all of them like they have all the space quests and all that um, Zach McCracken There we go, another one. Didn't ever play this, or maybe I did on the Amiga. I, I played it on, uh, and beat it on the uh, Commodore 64. And again, it's, um, it's my um, HDMI, the way I have it hooked up is why it's uh, cut off the text and the screen. install this on uh, other t like on your computer and uh, there's some other ways to, uh, to put it on but you know why not play it on the system where uh, you know uh, where it looks like the uh, actual Mega 500 and this is a quite a zippy uh, processor on uh, on this A500 mini it works well <laughs> Inspired by uh, Indiana Jones. Now, a lot 
of these games uh, why I had upgraded um, back in the day from my uh, Amiga 500 to uh, my first uh, PC, which was a 386 uh, computer, was because my Amiga didn't have a hard drive. And uh, there were some games you had to swap a disc every two seconds, and they'd have eight discs. And uh, But you don't have to worry about that on here. It's just... Um, load it up like uh, as if you had it on a hard drive. So some of these games obviously you'd have to install probably like uh, hook up um, an external keyboard in there but that's easy to do. Uh, because there's only limited uh, USB ports, you probably need a USB um, a hub to, so you could have your jump drive in there as well. That's why uh, when the Maxi version comes out, I'll be definitely uh, interested in getting that. Anyways, that's it. Uh, just uh, thought I'd uh, uh, favorites here. There must be a way to uh, add something to a favorite. I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, there's a lot of demos here, disc magazines. Anyways, pretty cool. Uh, you could just play around with this for, for days. Anyways, again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, this video is getting kind of long, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave a comment and please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.